We are um, working very closely with our member states. Uh, we are uh, pointing to these kind of scenarios. We are, uh, we are encouraging member states to put in place enough resources to face this kind of uh, increased needs that can, be, that can also arise in EU member states themselves because one cannot exclude additional uh, refugee inflow due to the harsh uh, conditions in Ukraine uh, that, that are coming up for this, this winter. Uh, at the same time, we are trying to build further our strategic reserves so that in case that the uh, response from EU member states in donating uh, assistance, emergency assistance to Ukraine would still not be sufficient, we could also tap our strategic reserve rescue. And second question, please. Um, you mentioned it is all voluntary from the member states. Are there any efforts to make certain aid compulsory? <laughs> uh, this would not be, uh, how would I say, in line with the philosophy of uh, solidarity, which is the guiding principle of European Union civil protection mechanism. It rests on solidarity, and solidarity is voluntary. And I, can, I don't think anybody can complain uh, about this, because uh, what the member states uh, displayed all along uh, the existence of the Union Civil Protection Mechanism, and even more so now uh, with regard to the Ukrainian needs, uh, has been remarkable. It has been an amazing display of European solidarity. I'll take two more questions, if I may, the directive is now.